Saranoa and company move to protect the Rosellan settlement. Noble as it may be, such an act of defiance toward Hyzant risks inviting the destruction of House Wolfort itself. Hyzant will no doubt wish to ask questions of us. We can draw out the negotiations and buy some time. Time enough to find a way to break them. We have to inform the Rosal of the situation here. I'll send an envoy and have them sheltered in Castle Woolfort. Lord Saranoa, come at once. An army marches on the Rosalan village. You can't be serious. Whose banner do they fly? We know not. And it matters not. We ride to their aid. Prepare for battle. Why attack our village? Hierophant's orders were to return you to Hyzand. Ha! <laughs> Over my dead body! For the honor of House Wolfort. Consider it done. Let us try out their weakness.
This will serve well. For the future of House Wolfort. For the honor of House Wolfort. Like I'm up. First things first. Aha! Cool heads shall prevail. Appreciate it. I'll take you on. I love the battle. Now then, to work. I see through you. From this range. Shall try my level best. Let us reverse our fortunes. From where shall we strike? I shall do what I can.
I'm behind you. I'm planning on a long, long life. Ugh! For victory! to the prepare. Shall we strike? Death from above! Oh, for victory! Search bears fruit. Let me heal your wounds. Be at ease. Most appreciated. Good try. Allow me. Ha! I'm only getting started. So, it falls to me. Oh, yes. yes! Very effective. Is that all you got? It comes to the prepare. We all have our weaknesses. I'll show you what I can do.
We must move fast. Forward! Thought you had me, huh? For victory! Out of my way! Shall we begin? Allow me. You have my thanks. Time for some research. Need to panic. There. Time for some sorcery. Lightning. Is that all you got? Out of my way. The hunt is on. Take aim. There is no mercy on the battle. This should do. How gracious. Defeat is not an option. Death from above. That hit the mark. I won't lose. Huh. I shall do what I can. Victory goes to the place. This shall be a boon. So, it falls to me. Now then. It's nothing Leave for it to me. Time for some sorcery. Lionel has arrived. See what Lionel can do. Is that all you got? Here I come. Let us pry out their weakness. Let us feel our defenses oh, for the good. future of House Wu. Defeat is not an option. For victory! For my kingdom! So, it falls to me. I shall do what I can. Your wounds are Lionel, thank you. Time for some sorcery. Ready to see a spell. Ha! That tickled! No need to panic. Time to end this. You cannot impede progress! The hunt is on. Then where shall we strike? I shall try my level best. All for victory. For victory! So, it falls to me. I shall do what I can. Make the most of this. Splendid. Time for some sorcery. Is that all you got? Profit comes to the prepare. No 
need to panic. <clears throat> Time to take flight. For the honor of House Wolfort. Death from above! To lead, I must grow. Might I be of service? Seems as if the troubles never cease. I'd kill for a drop of ale. I take it you and Benedict have seen your share of trouble. You have both served House Wolfort for many years, yes? Aye. We both served Lord Simon since we were green between the years. Through the good times and the bad. To see him now, you wouldn't believe the stories of what we got up to in our tender years. Even then, though, he was always the schemer. Always drawn me into his fanciful plots. Has so much changed since then? <laughs> I don't reckon so. In any case, was there something you wanted to ask me? There was. The other day, Benedict posed quite the strange question to me. Snowbell Blossom's Bloom? Indeed. I thought perhaps you had seen trace of the flowers while scouting with Flugi. I've spotted clusters of them in the deep mountain passes before, but not of late. So it is as I thought. They have ever been a rare sight, even more so in recent years. I had thought to procure one, but it may be wise to temper my expectations in that regard. Life always finds a way to flourish. I am certain Anna and I can find one before long. I would not have you chasing my idle fancies. You both have more vital duties to attend to. 
I... Of course. So, Benedict's looking for a snowbell blossom. What's so peculiar about that? Nothing. If it were anyone else asking. However, I think you'd agree that Benedict is not the type to go picking flowers on a whim. They say that when a snowbell blooms... That moment is frozen in time. I... Precisely. You and Benedict both never fail to surprise. But of all flowers, why the snowbell? Does he have some lady love I'm unaware of? I can't speak to that, but I'll tell you one thing, Hewitt. We've all got moments locked away and placed close to our hearts. You, me, even a stubborn-headed mule like Benedict. Like the snowbell, we want him frozen like that forever. And, like the snowbell, they're liable to shatter if we let another handle them carelessly. I understand. I apologize if I was too forward. Let us forget the matter. No, it isn't you that needs to apologize. I'm always telling Benedict no one likes being lectured. It was enlightening. I see you and Benedict are true friends. For lack of a better word, I. Bring me a draft of ale, and I'll tell you all about our younger days. At least, what I can remember. I recall Benedict wasn't nearly as capable as he is now. Hmm. I may have to take you up on that offer. Do you really reckon snowbells are still blooming somewhere out there? Perhaps. Though I've not seen them in this region. They may still bloom in the southern reaches. In other words, a trek and a half from here. Don't give up the search, my friend. Well met, my good fellow. Lionel greets you most heartily. Ah, Clara spoke of you. Lionel, you say? The very same, and in a position of privilege for which he is most grateful. A privilege that he would be most happy to share with the consortium, that it might prove to our mutual benefit. Oh, a fellow man with an eye for profit, I see. What privilege have you brought me today? A worldly fellow such as yourself has doubtless heard rumors of Hyzant's clandestine research projects, yes? Indeed I have. Developing weapons of devastating power, unlocking the secrets of eternal life. What if Lionel were to tell you that Hyzant has in fact created an elixir that offers everlasting youth? I would be intrigued, and then I'd ask you how you could possibly know such a thing. It's a simple matter of logic. Think, why would Hyzant hide the existence of so wondrous a panacea? Hmm. I suppose they'd want to keep such power to them and theirs. Just so. The only thing kings and nobles covet more than salt is life itself. <laughs> My lord is no exception. What are you saying? That those you serve have procured this miracle drug? Lionel has found himself welcome within nobility's most inner circles, he is proud to say and privy to their secret conversations. He also finds himself in possession of a certain medicine, a medicine he would be happy to part with a share of for the right price. 
a price I'd be more than willing to pay for such an incredible elixir. Do tell me, what exactly does it do? What doesn't it do? Its imbiber is blessed with unyielding vigor, unflagging stamina, and unmitigated vitality. Demand has proven so overwhelming that Lionel cannot hope to deliver the goods all on his own. He would be willing to share his profits with the right partner, however. If you've won the nobles' trust, then I see no reason to hesitate in helping you take some of their coin. Very well. Let me see the goods. <laughs> that makes ten, who put their lust for coin before their capacity for reason. This is almost too easy. With a few rumors and a respected name at his disposal, Lionel could sell these gullible fools their own shoes. <laughs> They're welcome to help themselves to this purgative. And if one or two of them is remarkably long-lived, then all the better for Lionel. And are you content to make your fortune on the backs of fools? Oh, you! How long have you been there? Since the morning, on Benedict's orders. Hmm. Your overseer is too kind. However, you may return and inform him that Lionel needs no protection. His work to bring fortune to House Walfort requires the utmost concentration, and the presence of others can prove an unnecessary distraction. Did Silvio accept our offer? Indeed he did. One glimpse of the reward set him on his way to the Wolfort Domain. Then all is in order. Care to wager how House Wolfort will respond? Why bother? If they comply, we make use of them. If they resist, we crush them. Either way, we endure. How ruthless of you. Come quietly and you'll live. Keep struggling and I'll slaughter you right here. What'll it be? I'll never submit to the likes of you. Cease your assault at once. Lord Saranoa. Well, well. Tell me, Saranoa, what do you hope to gain by protecting the Roselle? How about you tell us what you're doing here, Silvio? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Mind your manners, Irador. I stand before you as an emissary of the Saintly Seven. So Hyzant owns you, is that it? In so many words, yes. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some Roselle to repatriate. You'll do no such thing. House Wolford shall protect these people. So, you admit your betrayal of Hyzant. Get these traitors out of my sight, Rufus. Kill every last one if you must. 
I wouldn't even spare them if you asked. Stand back, everyone. Allow me to stay and fight for our freedom. Very well, but keep your wits about you. You fail to understand the situation in which you find yourselves. Without our king, we are but dust, scattered to the wind. What can you lot alone hope to accomplish by fighting Hyzant? Wolford will not sacrifice its subjects for some narrow vision of the future. If history judges us poorly for having done so, then so be it. Our consciences shall be cleaner for having fought to the death alongside our Rosellan brethren. Your pride and ideals cannot shield you from your fate! Kill them all! Try my level best. All for victory. One. For the honor of House Wolfort. Prepare to die. House Kellior will be victorious! At last, you see what's at stake. Show them what you're capable of. <laughs> You'll be fun to kill. Huh. Yeah. 
I'll take you on! Show me what you're made of! No need to panic. Shall we begin? All better. With clear eyes, I move forward. Now then, to work. Progress? <laughs> Pionel's coin purse grows heavier! <laughs> My turn!
Aye, leave it to me. Fail to understand the situation. Charge! Here I come. Just you wait. Let us pry out their weakness. It is time to strike. Forward. Prepare to die. How's telling? House Telior is without equal. Ha! Who's next? <laughs> to die. I have to tell me who to kill. Defeat is not an option. I'll make this quick. Over here. Not bad, not bad. You, you dare lecture me. Here I come. I have to do this. Ow, ow, ow. I see a path to victory. We make it up here.
Let me cause some trouble. Shall we begin? Your wounds are... Thank you. You cannot impede progress! <laughs> Prepare to die. Oh, you'll be fun to kill. My mail has been... Here I come. For my people. You're done well. My intuition was mistaken. Time for some research. Cool heads shall prevail. Be at ease. Most appreciated. Allow me. As in years comes wisdom. I will not fail. Tell me who to kill. The hunt is on. People. So it falls to me. A cold wind blows to further the arcane arts.
Let me heal your wounds. Your wounds are healed. I appreciate it. Victory is mine! Yeah! No need to panic. Ah! I'm only getting started. Who's next? Why oh. so scared? <laughs> I have to do this. The hunt is on. Not another step. <laughs> I'll be fine. A cold ah! wind blows. Victory is mine! Oh, damn oh, it all. No, let me they heal your me. wounds. Your wounds are much better. No need to panic. Prepare to die. Here I come. Darkness engulfs you. Forgive me. Damn it all. They got me. Now then, to work. I shall do what I can. You got it.
do my best. My magic is at your disposal. I live to serve. Do my best. I've been waiting for this! Time to work.
This is my way of doing things. I really feel like I've grown. Shall we begin? Is mine. Tell me who to kill. Impossible. <laughs> the hunt is on. Try this. I will fight to my last breath. For my people. I see a path to victory. Shall we strike? Death from above! Time for some sorcery! Take that! 
For my people! I see a path to victory. We make it up here. Defeat is not an option. left to lose it'll take a damn sight good to see you finally woken up sylvia just you wait Please, let us pry out their weakness this should do oh now that feels good Defeat is not an option. Victory is mine! Die! Nice! Here I come! Win! Cool heads shall prevail. Thank goodness. It's one step closer to our home. Now then. Slow! Leave it to me! I'll give it my best. This. I really feel like I've grown. I've been waiting for this. Do this. I have the hunt is on you. Take that. Oh. 
for the honor of House Wolfort. Now I end this. Now oh, I've done it now! You're quite the challenge. Silvio Tellior, we come to your aid! He has reinforcements. Let them come. Prepare to die. Let us pry out their weakness. A brief rest. I needed that. I'll show you what I can do. Shall we begin? This is what I do. I shall not be defeated. Looks like I'm up. My best. Aim steady. Charge. House Wolfort. Ah! For my kith and kin. There is no mercy. Let us steal our defenses. Incredible. Time for some sorcery. Just hold on, everyone. Impressed? Shall we begin? For victory! My last strike will be splendid results. There's more yet to learn. Looks like I'm up. I'll help you. Perfect. Come at me. I'll be your shield. It's time.
Prepare to die. Die! The hunt is on. Darkness engulfs you. Maybe next time, carefully. You Thank said you. I see a path to victory. Here I come! My turn! Way, young Saranoa. I'm a fool. <clears throat> no need to panic. There. I'll show you what I'm made of. Gotcha! I must 
remain calm. to good use. Ah, gratuitous. Let me heal your wounds. Your wounds are healed. I shall not be defeated. I won't lose. from no danger. Just you wait. It's over! Today is not the day I die. to do this. Time to take flight. Now then. Ha! That tickled! Push on through! So it comes to battle. I really feel like I've grown. This is troubling. A brief respite. My knowledge grows deeper. Charge! I shall do what I can. Allow me. What a relief. Damn it! Yeah! I just you I wait. <laughs> Time to take flight. This is take no! this! No need to panic. I'll give it my best. Aim steady. I must find a way.
This should do. For victory! Huh. Did you see that? My lord! We've been weakened. This it for me? Here I come. Darkness is Allowing the one. No need to panic. This is troubling. <laughs> that seemed to work. I'll give it my best. How about this? Charge! We mustn't lose heart. I'm behind you. Thank you. This isn't good. This battle is ours. I won't miss. Allow me. I shall try my level best. Sloppy! Charge! Brace yourself! Did you see that? So it comes to battle. You're finished! Wait, I beg you, would you truly kill me, your ally, just to protect the Roselle? The Roselle are a tainted people. Your efforts shall bear no fruit. How dare you insult my people! Ah! How could you?! I lose too many employers this way. I'd best make myself scarce. As if we'd let you get away. Word of this can't get out. Too late. Silvio sent word of your betrayal eons ago. Expect Hyzant's army on the morrow. They'll finish the job then. And so, we've bought no time at all. Lord Saranoa, I cannot thank you enough for coming to our aid. Allow us to show our gratitude with a feast. I'm afraid we haven't the time for such levity. We must tend to the wounded, of course. But fight or flee, surely we have time enough to catch our breath and fill our stomachs. Let us not spurn their kindness. The young lord's right. Steal that belly of yours. Hmm. What are you doing here, dear Roland? Jerome is a young man of formidable convictions. Indeed. He took the fate of his people in his hands and fought for their freedom. Just as you have done. I did what any lord would do to protect the sovereignty of their land, nothing more. 
I will not see the Roselle stripped of their humanity and treated as objects. Hyzant's goddess has always seen them as such. History has ever seen the strong rule the weak, but that does not mean it must always be so. I do not mean to excuse it. Rather, I see now that this village and all of House Wolfort suffers because of the royal family's impotence. That's not... I speak the truth, and you know it. Cordelia and the people of Glenbrook cry for aid as we speak. Yet here I sit, cowering behind a mask and a false name. Who dare call me a leader? Serenoa, making a valiant stand in defense of the Roselan village, slays Silvio Tellior. Word of their disobedience reaches the Holy One, who sends an army to conquer the heretics. With the enemy only a day's march from their doorstep, House Wolfort and the Roselle scramble to mount one last stand. Time is of the essence. Master Archibald, is there something on your mind? Ah! Goddess be good. I must be getting on in years for you to be able to sneak up on me like that. What troubles you? I was only reminiscing. Indy days like these tend to blow my mind back a couple of decades or more. Reminiscing about what? The Salt Iron War. Hard to believe it's been 30 whole years. Some days I almost forget my time as one of the saintly seven. I defended the Citadel of Sand through the conflict. I was there when Esfrost attacked. A number of Roselin prisoners who tried to escape the source were there too including Our Lady Frederica's dear mother. What's this? She stayed behind all by herself to help the countless numbers of her fellow Roselle flee. That's how she was captured. But I knew we couldn't hold the Citadel. So I helped her and her friends escape in secret before the enemy attacked. The wind blew just as hard that night as it's blowing now. I'll never forget watching the Roselle, caked all over in mud as they slipped away into the dark. So you didn't want innocents to get caught up in the coming battle? It never settled right with me. The way the Goddess's teachings permitted abuse of the Roselle for the supposed sins of their past. A person's life isn't worth more or less just because of the conditions of their birth. More than anything, I was moved by the selfless acts of Lady Frederica's mother. She reminded me of what I had once aspired to be. She was able to do what I never could. Risk her life to save her friends. I couldn't let someone like that die. Not on my watch. It wasn't long until the other saintly seven discovered what I'd done. They branded me a traitor, stripped me of my title, and sentenced me to death. Of course, I slipped out of their clutches before they could have my head. <laughs> <laughs> A 
I wandered for a while before taking up life as a merchant under the King of Glenbrook's patronage. I never knew you and Lady Frederica's mother shared such a past. Well, it is in the past. Anyway, let us return. This cold night wind is making my old bones ache something fierce. I must be ever ready.